This Here's the room. What? Oh, that's the bathroom right there. This is the bathroom? All right. Here, let's get you out. Mommy, yeah. We, we're on that big boat. There's two boats. We're on one and there's another one right there. Do you want out and do the look on the balcony? Yeah. yeah. Let's go look on the balcony, honey. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's a big boat. That's a big boat. And then we're on a big boat too. Big, you don't even know. Kevin. Uh, see, we walked up. Terrified. And we got on the boat. Okay, ready? Ready? Oh, one down. Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys, look at this vehicle. Okay, hi, we're here, we're on the cruise. We got here a couple hours ago, fully unpacked and did the whole thing, walked around a little bit, got some lunch, and now it's like, what time is it? It's five o'clock and we have dinner reservations at six, which ugh, this is like a whole thing. This is a whole thing, but let me just like grab my makeup, I'm gonna sit down, get ready for dinner. Sage and Clark are walking around, giving me some space to get ready and yeah, and then we'll talk about all the things. Okay, I can't find my makeup bag for some reason. I could have swore I put it right here. So we did unpack, got everything in the closet. This little hack is genius. We had one in our closet, so I just put all of Sage's stuff in it and then also some of our stuff, like bathing suits and stuff, just makes it just easier to find everything, especially for her, so that's really nice. Here, I'll give you a little tour real quick. So there's that, you walk in, there's the closet and all that. And then, and then the little, desk vanity thing our bed there is a separator here for the couch there's a little tv and then we did pick the room with the balcony as you see it was an upgrade but i was like when she's sleeping and we want to like be hanging out we don't want a room that just is literally a wall and no window or access to like do anything while she's sleeping so that's why we got that room i would highly recommend it already and then bathroom which i really need to find my makeup nothing special guys it's nothing special it's just it's just a good old bathroom um where is my makeup <laughs> that would be a problem if i forgot it we put all the snacks in there all of sage's toys right there and then sorry you can hear people out there and okay i guess it's safe and then we do have a mini fridge which is so nice i just stocked our oranges and apples in there found it. Clark put everything in there. Didn't even know this thing opened. Okay, so let's get ready. The drink package is like $106 a day. A day? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> cool girl. I <laughs> say It's going to be interesting to see what food is available for plant-based people <laughs> at dinner. Curious to see what that's going to all be about, but yeah, I guess we'll see. We can't open that one. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, you can literally watch it go down. It's already down further than it was a second ago. What are you 
doing? <laughs> okay, here's the dress. Black dress, shoes. We're ready. You smash your face into the window? Baby. Let's see your braid, sis. Cute. <laughs> It is day two and yeah yesterday was just kind of about getting our bearings and kind of like walking around and seeing like what there is to do and having dinner and all that it was so funny at dinner last night they had a booster seat because she doesn't want to go in high chairs really anymore so she sat in a booster seat like a big girl and they you know it's a very like you know fine dining experience and they bring her her drink which is orange juice in like a normal glass like a big glass and they don't have any like kids cups <laughs> and she's trying to drink out of it and like knocks it and like spills it everywhere and i'm just like looking at us i'm just like okay don't react like, <sighs> it was funny but sage is walking around this place like she like she owns the place like, she's just acting so big walking around we've been having a really good time so far so it's seven like it's like 7 45 right now and they want to go see what is on the menu for breakfast if we're either gonna sit down and do like the dining that way or go to like the big open area where you can just like get the buffet or whatever so I don't know what we're gonna do but look at this view there's our beautiful view getting a balcony like upgrading and doing the balcony was definitely the way to go instead of having nothing there or even just like the porthole thing I feel like having the balcony definitely was worth the money for sure breakfast fit is just gonna be just wearing this little matching set for now so today is a sail day so we're gonna be on the ship all day tomorrow we are at coco k i think i don't really know i don't know a lot of what's going on but all right here's to day two
Me gusta los los gatos. Oh my gosh. We're in Mexico. Whoa. I was expecting to see just water. Change your diaper real quick. Whoa, whoa. Right. Morning. Today we woke up in Mexico. We're gonna spend the day here today and we are so excited. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> what was that? You know where a pink one, sweetheart. This. Honey, we're gonna have a good day, baby. It's a happy day. It's a happy day, not a sad day, okay? You get waffles or something? Let's yeah. go get breakfast, yeah. honey. Alright, well, we gotta put the picture. See ya. Oh, Mommy, you see? Alright, we just got back from dinner. No, no, we didn't. Just got back from breakfast. And at Clark and Sage are going to see what excursions we could do. <laughs> Way to wait to the freaking last minute. Look what I have you guys on right now. This is my tripod. So I need to pack for the day and I really don't know what we're doing and I don't know how long we're actually gonna be on land before we get on or back onto the ship. So I'm thinking of packing like maybe just a beach bag and then the diaper bag cause we can put that like over our back and that will be easy to carry. <sighs> I haven't thought this through like at all. I am gonna wear my new pink suit, which I'm excited about. Let's see, I don't know if I should put Sage in her bathing suit or put her in clothes and then change if we find the beach. Like, I don't know. Also, Sage is a little sassafras this morning. She has all kinds of feelings, so. And that might not be ideal because she might not get a nap today unless she takes like a late nap or something. So the other day, was it the first day we got on the boat? That was the second day in her entire life that she has not taken a nap. There's been a couple other days where she slept, you know, like a few minutes in the car and that kind of thing. But normally she takes like, you know, a full nap. But she's only had two days in her whole life where she hasn't napped at all. And that happened the first day we were on the ship and she did really well. She's been going down really well, by the way. Cause you know, when I went to Ohio, kind of messed up her travel sleep where she was like afraid to like go in the pack and play and sleep. But since we've been on the cruise, like she's been completely fine. So, oh yeah. And then she did that on her birthday, the night before her birthday, when we were in Florida before getting on the boat. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? Anyway, she's been completely fine here for the naps and going down for nighttime. She's been like so tired. She just has been totally fine, like at home. So grateful for that. <laughs> Good snackies. Oh my. These are for the, the no, right what am I saying? Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Put it in there. Whoa.
security and all the things to get into Mexico. And we realized that we needed to take a taxi to wherever we were gonna go, like to find a beach and you know go somewhere where we can like lay out and just like spend the day, okay? Because everything else is kind of just like shops and and restaurants and stuff like that. So so we go to the ATM because we're like all the taxis took cash, not cards. So we're like we have to go get some cash out. So we went to an ATM and it was not working. Like it would not take the money out of our account. We're like we know we have the money in there. We know that. Like it's, I know the pin, like it should be working. Why is it not working? So Clark's like, let me go ahead and run back to the ship, use the ATM on the boat. For some reason we just figured like maybe this one will work and we don't know why that one's not working, whatever. So he does that, come to find out that it wasn't working either. So we called the bank and they wouldn't talk to him because for some reason it just has my name on it. We have a shared account. I don't know why his name wasn't on that card for some reason, because we have a shared account. This doesn't make any sense. So anyway, they wouldn't talk to him. They only wanted to talk to me. So he ran back out to where we were and was like, you have to be the one on the phone. So I was like, okay, do we all just go back onto the ship and then we'll just like try this whole process all over again and like I'll call them. So that's what we did. So then we all, and he and Clark ran back to the ship and ran back because he was like, we were just standing there. It was just Sage and I. So he was like trying to hurry. So we weren't just like left by ourselves. So we all then came back onto the ship tried to use the ATM again here, it wasn't working, so I had to call the bank. The bank, talked to the bank, I was on the phone for 30 minutes, Sage is screaming that she only wants mommy, but I was the one who had to be on the phone at the front desk, because we don't have cellular, so I had to be at the front desk talking to them. She's screaming, I want mommy, I want mommy. Clark's like trying to like handle her, so he had to leave and go back up to the room, because she was losing her mind. So I'm talking to the people on the phone at the bank for like 30 minutes, and the debit card that I had was not activated for some reason. They said it was lost or stolen and they sent us a new one, but I never got that new one and I never put that claim in, so I have no idea what they were talking about. So she reactivated the card that I physically had and was like, okay, this one should work. So I was like, okay, but I, what about my pin? Like, do you tell me my pin for this card? And she's like, no, it's whatever it's been on your, on your card. So I was like, okay, I know that pin. So, Go to use that. Well, first of all, actually, let me back up. After the personal debit card wasn't working, I used my business one and it wouldn't work because I don't know the pin to it for some reason. I don't know why, I don't know the pin. And I called originally for that because I was like, well, I can just like use that debit card. And they wouldn't let me use it because they said they won't tell me my pin over the phone. It's only by mail. And to read, to create a new pin on the app, you have to put in your old pin to make a new pin. It makes zero sense. But I'm like, okay, so that the whole business account wasn't able to be used. So then that's why we had the personal checking debit card activated and the lady was so nice and like was so helpful. And then I go to use the card and it said that the pin was wrong. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't know my pin then. Like, why is my pin changed? So then we come back up to the room and I'm like, I know that I know my pin. Like, let me just try to reset it. So I go on the app, I ended up resetting the pin. So I go on the app and I'm like, I know I know my pin. So I go to reset the pin, put the old pin in and I was correct. So it was the correct pin the entire time. For some reason it wasn't working in either ATM. So I reset a new pin and made a new one. And then we went and used that one, still will not work. So we could not use any of our debit cards. And we were like, we can't go to, we can't do anything because we have to have cash to take a taxi. And it's not, there's no point to like, just go like right here where everyone's just like walking around by the ships. So there's like nothing to do. So anyway, long story short, I'm like, we were so frustrated with each other, with the situation. We were so over it. Sage was being really good, but we were just like, we're so done. He's like, let's just stay on the ship. I'm like, no, I'm determined to like go out there and have a day. Like we're here in Mexico for one day with the family. Like I want to go enjoy it. Like we know, like I'm determined to figure this out. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what the solution was going to be, but anyway, so I'm just like close to the stroller around. And I'm just like, bzz, bzz, like beep bopping around, just like mad like i'm gonna freaking figure this out i was like we're gonna walk on the road like we don't need to take a taxi like we'll just like take the stroll and walk on the roads <laughs> so i was like let me just find where the road is and start walking from the ship you can see a beach like close by that i'm like we can walk to that so anyway found it in the way back found the ramp went down it and then we ended, then we ended up just being like is there any taxis that take credit card and he was like yeah i got you we're like, so we went through all this going on and off the freaking ship to make it, to get cash because we thought that they only took cash. Come to find out, no, they would take credit cards. So <sighs> finally we get a taxi, go 15 minutes to Playa Mia or something like that. I don't even know where we went. 
and then we didn't realize we had to pay to get in there, but whatever. And it was actually really cool. So you guys got to see all of that. But that is the backstory to today. And it was such a mess and it just felt like there was no solution while we were in it. And we, it was just such a hassle. You know when things are just like such a hassle when you're putting so much energy and effort into like enjoying yourself or like doing what you need to do to problem solve and like nothing is working. That's how it felt. And it literally, we were doing all of that was three hours. It took us three hours to finally to finally have the solution to what we were doing so that's the mess of today Okay, tomorrow. Oh, it is the Bahamas? Why do I feel like I didn't know that? And so there's, you know, tons of free stuff like going to the beach and stuff like that, but then there's the water park, which you have to pay for apparently. And she's too young to do the water park, so we just need like a beach and yeah. food and. Foods include, there's places where, where it's free to eat and there's places that are paid. Okay. Oh, you gave the iPad to Daddy? Yeah. Pick up different Wow, you're so helpful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Up it, up it. You put it. Wow, thank you, baby. Okay. Ready? Look at all these little white yeah. hairs coming out of my scalp. Party people. Mommy's cute in my dress. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, foggy. Perfect. 
perfect day. It's okay. All right, it is our last day. Ouch! Ooh, owie. 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 We are in the Bahamas, Coco Cay. All right. You see the water? Oh, cool, dude. We got back on the ship. Sage, you went down. What time did you go down? You went down around 4.45 for a nap and slept all the way through the night until 6 or 6.30 because she did not get up. We tried to get her up so many times because we we're like, oh my God, she's not going to sleep in the night if we don't wake her up and like get her dinner and just like put her in jammies and all the things. No, this girl slept from 4.45 all the way till this morning. <laughs> Let me say bye room. Bye, room. Bye, vacation. Bye Best vacation, vacation ever. That was awesome. That was awesome. You look finished vacation? with this pair, honey? That is so cutesy. Thank you.